like every day. Today we're gonna be doing some super creepy stuff. Stuff that when I can't go to sleep, I look at. I've been looking at this creepy ass stuff every night and it's, it's making it hard to fall asleep. And every time I hear something, I'm like, it's a ghost. I'm starting to believe ghosts are real and weird shit. That's what we're doing today. So sit back, grab your water. I prefer Walmart Great Valley because I ran out of Costco water. If you guys want to see more creepy videos, make sure you leave a like. We're gonna start out easy for all you put precious babies. We got an old style photo here. It was taken in the 1940s. And at first it looks normal. What's wrong with this pic? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Except there's this one dude over here, which looks like he's from the future. Look how everybody's dressed. This is from the 40s. Ain't nobody wearing a graphics t-shirt in the 40s. <laughs> and, and a hoodie and these kind of sunglasses. No, 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 my dude. This is proof time travel exists. And he's also holding a camera, a modern camera. Not like these old ones that you had back in the day. This is what cameras look like in the 1940s. He ain't holding one of those. He holding one of these. See, I, I, I see you. Either this is some Photoshop or this is proof that there is time travel and it exists. It's like it's like I want to believe all this stuff on the internet. Like ghosts, time travel, demons, possessions, all that. But I have to experience it myself for me to like fully believe it. That's why I'm not going to just come at you guys and be like, Whoa, this shit's real! It's like I want to believe it, but I, I gotta see this shit myself. And pictures, oh, pictures ain't good enough. Anything can be Photoshop. Okay, so this next one, this woman in Florida in 2000, you know the year that most millennials were born in? <laughs> she found this thing in her backyard. She took a picture of it and she sent it to the cops and said it was a skunk ape. <laughs> I mean, this thing is hella creepy. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies just looking at it in the eye. I don't want to even look at it in the eye. But I mean, this shit's creepy. And people are saying, no, that's a black bear. My dude, look at this. Look at this cute, cuddly ass. Thing. It's not this. This is not this. It's not. They're not the same thing. I don't know what this is. This looks like Bigfoot. And this actually looks like. Yeah, see, it looks more like Bigfoot. Why does Bigfoot look like he's missing a foot and a leg? Why does he look like he got some titties? Explain this to me because I don't know. Now we're gonna get to the creepy stuff, okay? Boy. So, you see this lovely family right here? They moved into their new home in Texas. They wanted to take a picture of the family sitting together in their new home. And as the photo was taken, a body appears to be falling from the ceiling. It's only in the pic and not in real life. I feel like this is one of the creepiest things ever. And there's like no plausible explanation. Like they investigated this house and everything and found nothing. I wonder if they take another pick in the same exact spot. Will the dude always like come down? <sighs> See, this is what I'm terrified of. Isn't this how it all starts? Like people take pictures and then shit ends up in the picture, but not in real life. Yo, those cameras, they a tool of the devil. Devil. Don't trust them cameras. I will pack my shit get the fuck out of the house. I ain't going to the cops. I ain't going to nobody. I'm gonna get the fuck out of this house. <laughs> this one actually blows my mind if this is true. It says nearly all human civilizations have legends of giants. Men standing feet taller than the average with titanic strength. I mean, you would think giants never existed because there was no fossil evidence. There's no bones, no nothing. And that's, that's proof enough for me. But this one dude in 1985 on a trip to Egypt, he met a grave robber who had a mummified finger that was 15 inches long. Here's my head for comparison. A finger this big. A finger. One that would have to come from a man at least 12 feet tall. Nobody was able to explain the pixie took. So this dude just like breaks into people's graves, digs them up, and then steals shit. I mean, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna do it in Egypt where all the like pharaohs and stuff and they they're like buried with their gold and everything. So, I mean, look at this. This looks legit to me. This is a goddamn finger. This big. I wanna see the rest of this man. This reminds me of that meme. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Stop! 
<laughs> I meant this meme, but I meant it with Tracer. Where is the one with Tracer? Tracer and Doomfist, except put in that dude's mummified finger over here. There we go, perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna gag. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Stefan was in the woods near Falcon Lake. He saw two cigar-shaped UFOs close by. When the door opened, he heard voices and tried to communicate with them. He approached the door but couldn't make out anything inside. So basically they blasted this dude with like a set of lights. I don't know, this guy claims he saw a UFO, he went up to it, they shot him with a light blaster and it gave him like that gnarly ass tattoo on his stomach thing and he said it burned his shirt off and he went to the hospital. I feel like he just had a crazy night and needed like an excuse for his wife. <laughs> Cause it could have been anything. It could have been anything that gave you that. But but he's gonna be like no 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 it was aliens. The aliens did it. I feel like aliens were like really big in like the 60s to the 80s and then there was that movie Mars Attack. We kind of calmed down, like, nah, 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 aliens aren't real. They would have fucked us up by now. Jim took this photo of his daughter when they were out for the day. At the time, he didn't notice anything strange, but after the film was developed, he noticed a spaceman standing right behind his daughter. <gasps> oh my god, that's, that's a, it, oh, I thought it was, that's a girl? I'm just kidding! He said the film wasn't altered in any way. I mean, this is an old ass pic. Maybe it's the clouds. Maybe the clouds look like a, a spaceman. I mean, how do you explain this? This is in the time when there was no Photoshop. There was just developing film. That's why these are easier to believe than like things nowadays, because anything can be altered now, but I mean. Tell me why this could look like she had an astronaut in her big ass head. I mean, bruh, it looks legit to me. It looks, I mean, he's just, she hiding something in there. More proof aliens exist. So this is a super famous picture of Mary. And then up here, there is like a spaceship thing. And this dude and his dog, they are looking at the spaceship. I don't know if this is Noah's Ark or what, what, is it a bacteria? Is it, I mean, y'all don't say anything about these. These look like little mini spaceships. By the sun, they coming for you guys. I mean, that looks like a little rocket ship to me. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. This guy, Freddy, was accidentally killed by an airplane working as a mechanic. Two days later, his whole squad took like a family portrait thing. And when they developed the photo, he was in it. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, like, all these dudes look exactly the same. Unless they'd be like, hey, yo, who's that guy? They all looked at it and they admitted. It was him, but this pic was taken on the day of his funeral. Hold up Let me get my ass out of this coffin. Let me take one more pic with y'all. Just just one more pic Make this my Facebook pic. I mean he's dead, but he's in a pic they took on the day of his funeral Y'all got some explaining to do. A warning, this next one is a little disturbing, so I'm just Giving you a little warning before we begin. So this picture was from a murder scene of Mary Reeser. She was sitting in her chair in her living room and she sat on fire. Her whole body was on fire except her left foot and nothing in the room was burned. It was just her body. It was literally just her body and then her left foot and then everything else in the house was fine. I don't know if like the flame just stopped before it reached her left foot, but if the forensics can't figure it out, how you expect me to? This ain't a crime solving channel. I ain't no psychic. I mean it's YouTube. Anybody can be whatever they want. Anybody can be a psychic. I'm, I'm a psychic today, okay? And the last one we have here are a lovely series of photos of this ghost girl. These look like they were edited, honestly. So don't, don't at me. I don't believe in this. But it's just creepy to see how there's several of these photos. This one looks real. Then you have this one. There's nothing wrong with these photos. And then you see this one right here. A lot of you guys have probably seen this. She's taking a selfie or somebody's taking a pic of her. And the reflection doesn't match. She's just sitting like that. That, that, that reflection ain't fucking with her. That reflection's like, bitch, what's you smiling at? And then there's another pic of this. I don't know if this is a video. Because at this point, there's so many of these photos, it looks like it's a video. Oh, alright. So there you have it. School project. Someone learned how to edit. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to join the Wolf Pack. Ow! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.